2015 takeover. Bob. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm sitting in for Abby. And Izzy isn't here again because apparently he didn't heal over enough, enough overnight. Tonight there's a Paths to Help night at the Purdue Extension office for those who need help or have yet to fill out the FAFSA. Battle of the Books will take place tomorrow from 5 to 7 in the cafeteria. All participants are welcome to stay in the library after school. See you there. Sunday, March 1st, there is a teen takeover event being held at the YMCA for those in grades 7 through 12. There will be b basketball, dodgeball, pizza, and more. So be there or be square. For lunch today, on lines 1 and 2, there's a rotini. Line three is hammer turkey wraps, line four is cheese crunchers or pizza wedge, and line five is closed again. A happy birthday goes out to Jaslyn Cisneros. Since we're a little short-staffed again, we'll be doing sports at the desk again. We don't have much in terms of sports news today, but the boys basketball team will be traveling to Westfield tonight, so good luck to them. Now, the weather with Chris. The temp today is a high of 40 with a low of 30, but it currently, to me, feels at least in the negatives. There is also a 90% chance of rain today. Here is the quote of the day, scatter, koika sogetsu. Now, that's all for me. Now back to the news desk. Mr. Van Dyne's classes should take study materials and report to the following rooms today. Period one, room 129. Community on the mezzanine. Period three in the choir room. Period 4, room 205, and period 5, room 103. Um, that's it that we have for the announcements today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and Nomeo and Juliet is the best theatrical representation of the play since the play itself. And on this day, Muhammad Ali knocked out Sonny Liston for his first world championship.